This is Lydia with Applique Market. Today I want to show you how to color sort the steps for our scallop circle monogram applique design. I'm going to show you how to do this in three different software programs. You do need editing software to be able to make these changes. Let's get started with the So What Pro. This is a program that many people have, and we found it's one of the most popular ones. Um, to get started, I have already brought in my three-letter monogram. I've opened the first letter, and then to add the second and third letters, or the middle and the right letter, I have gone to File, and I've merged those two so that they all appear on the same screen. Um, now, what you're seeing on the right side is the placement, tack down, satin stitch, and top stitch for each letter. And because each letter is an individual file, when you bring it into the program, it is going to treat it as if you have three separate appliques. So if you want to use different fabrics, that is probably the way that I would leave it. But if you're wanting to use the same fabric on all three letters, I would recommend doing a color sort. And that's basically changing the order of the threads so that you have the placement and the tack down and the satin and the top stitch running all at the same time for each letter. So the placement stitch for A, B, and C would run, and then the tack down stitch for the three letters would run, and then the satin and so forth. So to get this sorted, um, I click on the first, the first number. Um, and you'll go to edit and order threads. And you're literally just changing the numbers. So we have 12 steps here. And you can see that all of the blue numbers um, or, or threads, steps, those are all the placements. So if we want all of the placement stitches for each letter to run at the same time or in in the order that they are. Um, you'll want to leave the first step on one and then come down to the next blue letter and change it to two. The third blue will change it to three and then start back at the top carrying on with four for the tack down stitches. <clears throat> so you're basically just telling the program that you want all of the same steps to run together instead of separating them all out. Okay, so we will finish reordering this. Nine and then 10, 11 and then 12 is already there. So once you've made sure that this is exactly how you want it, we want one, two, three, tack down, four, five, six, and so forth. Select OK. And you'll see on the right side that it has all of the colors together now. So if we click on them, you can see that the placement stitch for all three letter stitches up um, together and then the tack down for the three letters stitches together satin <clears throat> and top stitch and then at this point you're ready to save it and send it to your machine okay let's move on to our second editing program which is embird <clears throat> I have again brought in the three letters for the monogram that I'd like um, file open for the first letter file merge for the second and third letters. Now, you'll see again on the right side that the default is to treat each letter as its own applique because it is a separate file for each letter. So instead of um, having it like this, we want to reorder. And the way to do that in Embird is to select the first letter, 
hold down your control key and select the other two letters. Now you'll right click and bring up this drop down box, go down to colors, and then smart color sort. This box will pop up asking you about the maximal difference. I leave it at zero. Select OK. And you can see it changes up here. So <clears throat> it will select the placement for each letter. And then it goes to the tack down for each letter. And then the satin for each letter. And finally, the top stitching. Oops. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, once you've made sure that this is in the order that you'd like, um, you're ready to file and then save the design. Okay, the third program that we often hear um, that's pretty popular and that people are using is in Brilliance. Um, this is not the free express version. This is the um, basic paid version. Um, now, I'm using the BX file here, um, and we do offer that with all of our designs. So you'll do the monogram that you want. <clears throat> you will um, make sure that it's, it, well, when you have the BX file, you, it does, you can type it in um, type in your monogram here, and it does come in all as one, um, uh, all, excuse me, all in individual applique designs. So this would stitch out in entirety, and then the B, and then the C. So we want to make sure that we change it so that um, each step for each letter uh, stitches out at once. So the way you do that in Brilliance is you um, go to, oops, let's see, Utility, and to Color Sort, and it tells you the design page has been reduced by eight color changes. That means that it's automatically done what you're asking it to do. You won't see these changes until you save it to your computer or your USB um, you can change the name of it, but this is the way I typically do it. <clears throat> now, when you open it back up to check it, you can see, let me find, there it is. And then we can see if you um, just click the plus sign over here, you can see that it's broken it into each step. Okay, so you have the placement, tack down, satin, and top stitch. So remember, with Brilliance, you will not see the changes that you've made until you save the file and reopen. <clears throat> if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to contact us at contact at appliquemarket.com. You can also reach us on our Applique Market Friends Facebook group page or leave a comment on our Applique Market Facebook main page. We hope this helped and we'll see you next time. Thank you.